Hey ladies, <clears throat> so mommy wanna be here and I'm here with my six week update. Um, I'm gonna come back later on this week because I have my first ultrasound on Thursday that I just, oh, I so cannot wait for that appointment. Like I feel like after that appointment, I will be able to breathe and just really, really enjoy this pregnancy. Um, because I have to be honest, um, I'll be lying if I said that I was not scared and that I'm not nervous that, you know, um, you know, that I may have a miscarriage or something just because of the type of uterus that I have. And yeah, I just don't know where the baby is implanted at. I don't even know if there's a heartbeat. So after Thursday, <laughs> I think I would be able to really, really enjoy this pregnancy a little bit more. And, um, and I, ha I have my markers like I think once I get past eight weeks I can breathe once I get past 12 weeks I can breathe <laughs> once I get past 23 weeks you know I can breathe so I don't know um I'm really enjoying I like, just enjoying just knowing that I do have a baby in there but at times it's just hard just to think that you know it's possible that we can lose this baby so yeah um, that's where I'm at and I had a really bad day last um, I had one bad day last week where I just worried all day long I'm um, sorry if I'm getting teary-eyed now but it, it just really hurts my heart just to think that you know that's a possibility um oh my goodness sorry <laughs> so yeah I did have a really bad day last week where I was just you know like so worried I had to just turn my computer off because I just have to stay away from you know Google and the different forums that I was a part of um, because I am a part of a bicornered uterus forum on Facebook um, a bicornered group on Facebook and um, different you know websites that I that I visit or that I was visiting visiting when we were trying to conceive and you know just seeing the women on there and it's just so so many of them that are losing their babies at 12 weeks they're losing them at 20 weeks they're losing them at eight weeks and I just don't want that to be me because I'm sorry if this video just seems a little sad and a little down but I'm just so happy and so thrilled that God has blessed us with this baby and I just pray that he does not take this baby from me. I'm sorry. Uh. So, on to more happier things. Um, <laughs> Hubby is really, really enjoying the idea of being a daddy. And it is so cute. Like He just really enjoys just the thought of having a kid finally. Um, he told me, you know, now I can die happy. And if he can, if he, if he have twins, he'll die even happier. So... We're not sure how many babies are in there or what. Um, we'll find out on Thursday. Um, I still can't wait to that appointment. So, ladies, you know, if you think of me throughout the day, just please say a prayer for us that, you know, baby is grown where it needs to grow. Baby is implanted in the perfect spot and that there is a very strong heartbeat. So, um, yeah, cravings. I don't really have too many cravings. I just only really crave. I have this one weird craving. I think I probably shared it in my other video. I've never liked olives ever 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 never liked olives but I have just been loving olives um not so much this week and last week you know I can eat one I get a taste for it um I just think that it's just the salt in it so I think I'm craving more salty and spicy food um I was craving hot wings so bad for lunch today so I went to east coast wings and my whole plan was to get hot wings but I saw this burger that just looks so good so I got the burger um, I haven't had a burger in a while so I just treated myself to a burger and um, yeah I don't really have to, I don't have any cravings I did have a little bit of nausea about two weeks ago um, like the week that I that I first found out I had a little bit of nausea there um, I did throw up one day um, sorry but I did throw up one day and you know this week has been fine over the weekend I didn't have any fatigue but today I'm just so tired right now um, I think it's because I didn't go to bed till late last night so I'm not really having too much of a symptom. Well, actually, I am cramping like on my left side. So I think baby is implanted in my left horn um, because I'm having more cramping than any than on any side on my left. When I first found out, it was more so on my right, but now it's a lot on my left. Um, my hips are a little achy. Like I have this dull ache in my hip and like right in my thigh. So I'm thinking maybe that's just my hips spreading or maybe baby is just getting bigger. 
Um, <laughs> I keep thinking like, I hope baby is not in my tubes. Like, I hope he's not in my tubes. So yeah, like I said, after Thursday's visit, I will be able to breathe much easier and I will be a much happier um, mommy to be. So just wanted to update you guys. Um, sorry if I seem sad in this video, but it does make me sad just at the thought that, you know, that's a possibility because of my, because of the uterus that I was born with. And yeah, I don't know. And I know it, it's, it happens with a lot of women. You know, I know a lot of women that don't have a bicornary uterus. They have a very normal, normal uterus. They still have miscarriages, but I don't know. So I'm about to go in and, you know, do some work. It's hot out here. So just wanted to update you ladies. I'm going to let you know how my sixth week is going. And I would definitely come back um, the end of this week or, you know, uh, Thursday. I'm going to try and record the ultrasound on Thursday so that we all can see what baby is doing. Um, so I guess I'll see you guys then. All right, bye.